I started to work in my ex-country Bulgaria. Then uh, we moved to United States 16 years ago. And we are American citizens, all my family. 14 years we spent in Salt Lake City. I had private lab. And mostly uh, we paid money for my research, you know, during these years. Such a way I was independent, I created many prototypes, mostly Serie Angelina. Angelina 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Actually, Angelina 6 is built in Canada. Mm, okay. So, but these are for demonstration. And uh, investors found me, not me, investors. They were very excited, they invited me in Canada. They provided me big building with big facility, equipment, investment. And now I'm there since February. And now we are building four prototypes, 1000 kilowatts quantum energy prototypes. One of them will be for energy only, 10 times our unit. So you put in generators one unit power electricity you produce 10 times it's incredible 10 times yeah. it's real well and how much are you measuring on the output side output part with this uh, in uh, this uh, photon radiation this light x-rays gamma rays they they carry this energy this energy must be converted into useful energy for example electricity this energy produces heat, you know. I heat air about 1,000 gallons air, very high pressure. This air turns turbines. Turbines, they produce electricity. You have, mm, that's okay. easy, that's okay. easy. Plus, of course, heat. This air, which is not used, because tr uh, pressure and uh, temperature of air drops, but the rest of energy which is in this air, I, uh, it goes through heat exchanger, very efficient heat exchanger. So I produce hot water or hot water steam. So in fact, uh, coefficient of efficiency, this system is very high, about 80% uh, at least. Oh wow. That's so I use uh, almost the, the whole for electricity, about three, 400 kilowatts, and another heat. Now, this, this this all comes from the ball lightning plasmoid that's yes, stabilized yes. the chamber, right? I create a tissue of ball lightning big, like this, about two feet diameter, big. But it's not enough. I produce ball lightning in continuous regime, non-stop. Hours, days, years, continuous regime. Ball lightning, uh, just ball lightning cannot produce extra power, very little. But uh, so this is my discovery. I discovered how to excite ball light to make work this quantum mechanism. Mm, okay. Uh, without that, ball lighting doesn't produce any extra power. So I learned this during many years. And now I know how to excite ball lighting, this special process. Excited ball lighting can produce many times over unit. And this over unit depends mostly on three factors. First of all, input microwave power, more input microwave power, more powerful ball lighting, produce much more over unit. Second, pressure. I produce ball light in air. No cons consumption of air, it's just medium. And more is higher is the pressure, higher is uh, over unit. Because this quantum electron, they are in contact in more uh, dense media and they give more power. Third factor is this excitement, power of excitement. So how many quantum electrons are involved with this process? So three factors. So I create uh, I'm, uh, vessels under high pressure, very powerful excitement, big input power. So to have all advantages of this process. Anyway, 10 times solar unit is very good actually. Yes, it's remarkable. I can produce with much more powerful, even 1 million times solar unit.
But you understand that if you go more and more over unity, this becomes dangerous. Well, now, how much input power does it take to generate and stabilize the bullet in Yeah, uh, input power is 100 kilowatts. Okay. It's to create ball lightning to maintain a light. This 100 kilowatts ball lightning can produce 1,000 kilowatts output power, so 10 times over here. But you cannot util utilize the whole 1,000. I told you, electricity, few hundred kilowatts, three, four hundred kilowatts electricity. 125 kilowatt go back to maintain the system, you know, to create more lightning. It costs nothing from outside. No energy, no electricity from outside. And then you produce usually for about 300 kilowatts. This gain goes to the grid. And then you have also, I told you, you have hot water or hot water steam. Yeah. They have uh, or hot air. You know, this unit is good for to supply with power some uh, community, about 50 houses, for example with electricity, hot water for baths, pools, hot air for heating, even though my system produces hydrogen, free hydrogen, mm, okay. a lot of hydrogen. You know, hydrogen has many applications too for upgrading oil, for ammonia production. So it's hydrogen a, business is very big too. It's a central power resource, really. Yeah. yeah. Now some, uh, you saw over there, some, some this hammer with hydrogen, why not? For now, so this unit has, will have many applications for some community houses, for some business plant. Even though I can build more powerful variant, not necessarily one megawatt. I can build 5, 20, 30, even though I have ordered to build one 30 megawatts to produce uh, hot water steam for mm. upgrading oil in Canada. Okay. You know, just for all the steam because it's very expensive all the steam now produced. They burn gas, methane, it's too expensive. But in my technology it's very cheap, very inexpensive. So sure. Then uh, I don't, there are many applications. I build prototypes to produce very dense, absolutely very bright source of X-rays. Source of gamma rays, very bright. Gamma rays with multiple applications for nanotechnology, for lasers, for, you know. So I built several prototypes for different applications, but mostly for energy. So after we all have these prototypes, we don't need any oil, gas, nuclear, water, we can replace. Of course, directly for moving engines like cars, at the beginning it will be hard. Because it's, oh, the, you know, the cars need physical, small. Physical scale of it. Now yeah. I can't build now small, but I'm sure in future, maybe after five years, we can create such a oh, sure. compact. Well, and but this for trucks, big trucks, for locomotives, for uh, boat, for airplane, can be used directly because there, the place, there's enough room for such a generator to move. For cars, we need better. but for cars, I think at the beginning, it's much better if I have almost for free hydrogen, free energy, electricity, you know, water steam. I can produce very easy synthetic gas methane. You know, gas methane is coal, very cheap everywhere. Water steam, you know, water steam, and hydrogen. I have. Water steam for free, hydrogen for free, energy, coal is everywhere, so we can produce huge amounts of gas methane, even though synthetic liquid, liquid hydrocarbons, gasoline, everything. So in my opinion, this first, for example, five, ten years, we can produce large amounts of synthetic hydrocarbons, including gaseous, methane, and for cars. So we, we need, we don't need any oil from Middle East from everywhere. We can produce. You know, Germany, during war, World War II, Germany had no access to oil and gas. They produced synthetic. Yeah, they had the cracking you know, process. It's expensive, of course. But now, if we have free energy and free hydrogen, this will be very easy. And 
So I think at the beginning, better to do synthetic uh, hydrocarbons. Because look, how many cars, you cannot just shut down all cars and that's it. You can, you must use it during some period, five to 10 years, the same engine. Sure. So better to produce this synthetic during this period when we will change all old economy, oil, coal, gas, nuclear economy, to quantum energy. You know, this period we can produce this synthetic only for moving mm. well, engines. Yeah, it, and now in terms of what you've actually been able to draw off in terms of electrical energy, how many watts have you been able to pull out of this so far? Uh, this uh, energy is the best for electrical. Yes. Even though I have some proposals, I will not tell you well for now. Oh, okay. Even though Still they told me I'll give you two billions of dollars. Only built us 1,000 megawatt, 2,000, 5,000. You know, 5,000. Whole country can help you with this. That's, uh, so our next steps will be this. I will start, but I need huge investment, you know. Yeah. I, yeah. I really need one, two billion dollars to build such, uh, for example, 5,000 megawatts. Well, now, with, with potential funders, would they be able to visit you in, under certain conditions in Canada to, to view your work and get a better idea of it if they were interested in funding? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I was very surprised that oil, comp oil industry in different countries, I met billionaires, uh, billionaires which are involved in this business. They know very well that oil is within five, ten years will be over. They mm. know that. And they are looking now for investment in next energy source. They know that. They are not surprised or they don't resist. I was, somebody told me they will kill you. No, they understand. They understand their oil economy will be over during five to ten years. And they are looking to reinvest, you know, this money to this. Of course, for example, Canada, you know, Alberta has about 180 billion barrels oil in sand oils. Huge. This is the biggest reserve in the world, more than Saudi Arabia. Yeah. But in Alberta now produce about 500,000 per day, but all that is expensive and difficult. Water steam, electricity, hydrogen, you know, it's you can, can raise, but not too much, this production. You need hydrogen, you need electricity, you need water steam. They won't tell me this. So, so, so they think that they can, because of that, Harpa, Prime Minister told in London and in St. Petersburg, Petersburg, Canada will become energy superpower. He means Albert. But Alberta cannot become huge producer without this hydrogen, this free energy, very, a lot of very cheap energy, and water steam, which is energy too. You know, you know. So they want this energy, quantum energy, to expand production of oil from this oil sands in Alberta. But I told you, this temporary solution, this will be for example five to ten years. No more. Maybe even though faster quantum energy. Next year, I think I'll be able to produce prototypes to go to the market. You know, who will need this oil? For what? For pollution? For this global warming, which happens now? Quantum energy is clean energy. No pollution, no radioactive waste. It's absolutely clean energy. You know, because you produce this energy, you don't use any fossil fuel, any primary energy source. So I think even though this conversion, this will be much faster than five to ten years. Hmm. For electricity, absolutely sure. For car, cars, maybe some period we need. But maybe much faster. You know, oil reserves are not so big as they present. In Alberta, that's a reality. But not in Russia. Russia has three years. Oil reserve. 
they exploit now everything they have. But their production started to go down. The same is uh, Middle East, the same, you know. Only Alberta is, in Alberta, conventional oil production is going down. But from central will go up if hydrogen, oil steam, you know, available in big, large amounts and very cheap. If they're not available in large amounts and very low price, impossible Alberta to exploit this huge uh, reserves of oil. It's too expensive. Oil cannot go the price $200. Yeah. There will be some reasonable price when there will be resistance, there will be, you know. So people in Alberta know very well. I'm there, I talk, I'm talking with those people. I am meeting with them. They, before I had lied about the problem, now I know the problem. Well, now, in, in the actual device itself, yeah. um, have you measured any output radiation from it? Have you ever had any issues with shielding? Shielding the device against gamma or...? Yeah, uh, of course, when you produce big power, big part of this photon radiation is X-rays, gamma rays. Of course, you, you need some shielding. Some kind of still, that's easy, you know, but uh, gamma rays, they are not radioactive. You stop the process, no more, hmm. nothing, everything is so clean. No, no alpha you know, open, beta. there's no radiation, you know. These are ga uh, photons, photons are not. Photons only, yeah. There's another application, especially from England, they asked me many times. You know, now nuclear power plants, they have huge piles of radioactive waste. Only in the United States, uh, they have 25,000 tons radioactive waste on the place, on the seat of nuclear power plants. No Nevada, no Utah, all them. They're there around the nuclear power plant. That's terrible. It's terrible. So, gamma rays, you know, gamma rays, especially this uh, very dense, very bright. If you have here for example, radioactive waste, if you radiate them with uh, gamma rays, but very dense like I produce, you can convert radioactive element in more radioactive. So this wave, actually I'm doing such a design. Oh, I have a big chamber, gamma rays, and convert. This convert radioactive, all down, and from another side, no radioactive. This okay. huge application, big money, big business too, until nuclear power plants will be, well, will work. How know. long do you think it'll take before we may see these on the market commercially? Uh, cool how long will they be commercially? Uh, uh, I thought already this uh, 1,000 kilowatts, one mega, they could be next year even though. Next for year. Community houses, for plants, the, for businesses. They have very big application because for them take India, China, another big country. They have no electricity. If you build them, sell them, the whole village will be provided with everything. You know, and Africa. You do not there here. You know. You put small you make some small building like transformers, neighborhood transformers, underground cables to every house, tubes, tubings, thermal isolated for hot water and hot air. And this goes to the house. You have hot air for heating. You have hot water for your pool, baths, everything. You have electricity. It is short distance. You, you have not this, look, this huge, uh, uh, infrastructure, you know what we have now, some central power plant and this, first there are a lot of losses, this very expensive, this infrastructure, this transformers, these wires, uh, high, uh, you know, we, you don't need, everything is one place, you don't need this system. Of course, all these units will have network, they will be interconnected, because if some of them is out of order, another neighborhood will provide power. And because nobody pay for this power, you know, who cares? And then maybe some company will maintain this. 
for the you pay like insurance every month fifty dollars this company to maintain to you know they will observe they will maintain and that's it you you don't pay bills for electricity for gas for you know you don't pay you just pay some insurance company which will maintain this equipment if something happened they will replace I think 20 years will work.